Greeting students. With the contagious outbreak of COVID-19 and the Movement Control Order, MCO, the process of teaching and learning and academic calendar of UITM has been improvised and amended to accommodate the MCO. Therefore, we would like to provide information to all students regarding the implementation of teaching and learning as well as assessment for Dynamics ECS 429 course for semester March-July 2020 during the outbreak of COVID-19. Teaching and learning that will be conducted for this course is based on instructional guidance, teaching and learning for students amid COVID-19 concerns, prepared by Faculty of Civil Engineering UITM. There are five main points that will be shared in this video. UITM Academic Calendar, Lesson Plan, Assessment Methods, Important Academic Date and Important Reminder. This is the Academic Calendar 2020, Amendment 2,3 April 2020, which is for non-laboratory courses, that is dynamics. The teaching and learning and assessment activities will proceed with two lecture sessions. Lecture 2 consists of six weeks and is dated from 13th April to 24th April 2020. Lecture 3A consists of four weeks and is dated from 4th June to 1st July 2020. All teaching and learning activities must be conducted through online or distance learning, where non-face-to-face -face activities shall take place through Session 2, 2019-2020. This is the lesson plan based on Academic Calendar 2020 Amendment 2, 3 April 2020, which can be downloaded from iLearn portal or open learning platform through HEA website. Dynamic course will proceed with the two lecture session, that is Kulia 2 and Kulia 3A. Starting April 13, 2020, Dynamics will start online and distance learning for session Kulia 2, which will be conducted from 13th April 2020 to 24th April 2020, which refers to week 5 till week 10. During these weeks, all respective lecturers will communicate with you virtually for two hours. Starting June 4th, 2020, Dynamic will start online distance learning for session Kulia 3A, which will be conducted from 4th June 2020 until 1st July 2020, which refers to week 11 till week 14. During these weeks, all respective lecturers will communicate with you virtually for two hours. For the teaching and learning assessment, there will be no final examination for this semester, March-October 2020. An assessment will be based on continuous assessment. The component for assessment of this course have been adjusted to 100% continuous assessment. The assessment will comprise of assignment, quiz, test, project as shown in the slide or you can obtain it from your lesson plan. Quiz will comprise 10%, assignment will comprise of 30%, project will be 40% and test will be 20%. So how do we have online teaching and learning conduct in Kulia 2 and Kulia 3A? Open and distance learning is a way of learning remotely without being in regular face-to-face -face contact with the lecturer in the classroom. For students who have difficulty of accessing the online platform or laptops, an alternative distance learning mode will be applied. Therefore, you will need to consult with your respective lecturer for more information. Online can be done as follows synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous involves learning in real time. Both parties have to be online simultaneously such as chat, teleconferencing, video conferencing, live streaming lectures and virtual classroom. This type of learning allows students to obtain immediate feedback. Whereas asynchronous allows learning to happen at students' own pace without real-time interaction with lecturers. Materials for reading, videos or lectures of tutorials 
assignments for completions, exam for evaluation will be provided by course lecturers. Students can access and satisfy the learning task assignment assessment within a flexible time frame. Those that learn through distance learning are for students who do not have a PC, a laptop, or do not have a stable internet connection. You are required to inform the course lecturer in advance to arrange for postal copy, either soft copy or hard copy of their teaching and learning material. However, you should still be in constant communication with the course lecturer via phone calls or other feasible means. Students undertaking distance learning mode are required to complete all course assessment without exemptions. All students, regardless of the course participation via online mode or distance learning mode, are required to complete all course assessments and submit to the course lecturer via the recommended channels, examples, emails and WhatsApp, before the deadline as announced. Failure to do so will affect the student's total marks and grade of the course. All students who choose online learning mode will be monitored in terms of online presence and participation. All students are bound to online ethics and integrity, especially for honesty in the completion of coursework and assessment. Any form of cheating will be penalized if proven guilty. Students who are in need of final assistance throughout the process of online or distance learning, uh, for example, purchase of data plan or postal, can apply for financial assistance using Tabung Kerajaan Pelajar. Here are some of the important dates. Key of success. Give full commitments in the virtual class as required. Complete your tasks on time. Work with others effectively. Be self-disciplined. Be willing to become tech savvy. Review, revise, repeat and stay motivated. For any further inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact the course coordinator of Dynamics, Madam Noor Baaya Muhammad Noor at 012-8220-283 or you can email her at noorbaaya at uitmedu.my. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.